Uh, well, welcome back. I wanted to start out this discussion and master series on analog boards to try and help you understand what all this is. I mean, just look at this. There's how many no I don't there's a sea of knobs and buttons and switches and things and meters. I mean, most people that come upstairs to Octave Records go, "Ooh, whoa, what the hell? This looks so cool." And it is cool. As I told you before, this board has a really great history, and, and you can go back to the intro to, to find that out. I won't bore you with that, because I want to keep these kind of short so that we can enjoy each other's company and we can learn together how all of this works with something that I, I want to share with you. So, as I said, you look at this and you see a sea of knobs and buttons, colors and lights. What's it all mean? The easiest way to figure this out is to look at how symmetrical and similar everything is. And that's part of the key to this. Because really what this is are identical channels, 32 of them in fact, with a few extras thrown in here for good measure, <laughs> like salt and pepper, right? So all these channels are identical. So if we just look at one, it's not all that complicated. And I'm going to go through one of the channels for you in, in just briefly to show you. I'm not going to bother with all this. We can go into this later if, 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 uh, if people want to. But I want to show you actually how simple this board is. And I want you to think of it like a stereo system. Near and dear to my heart, because that's what I do, is at PS Audio we manufacture and design hi-fi stereo equipment. So let's just take one of these channels and have a look at it. Basically, you have, as I said on a stereo, a volume control. That's this slider, could be a pot, but in this case, sliders are better, and here's why. Because notice if I put the slider there for that channel, and then I put the slider here for this channel, visually, you can see that, you see the relationship of those? This one's obviously louder, and this one's softer, and this one's in the middle. So that's why we use sliders, it's easy, we don't have to worry about where, because these pots are hard to see where they are. They've got little indicators on them. But volume control, balance control, where is it in the mix, right? And then we have some auxiliary sends over here that I'm not going to talk about right now. Um, we, we can talk about those in a little bit. A mute button, this button here, just if you hit that, see that light comes on? Now you won't be able to hear it. A solo, if I click that button, then all the other ones turn off and I only hear this. So let's say I have a complicated mix and all these volume controls are at different levels. When I hit that solo button, all of these turn off and I only hear this one, okay? So volume control, solo control, mute button, just like on your stereo, and a balance control, left and right. If I put, this one ha happens to have if you push it in, it's right dead center. So this, this doesn't do anything anymore. And if I pull it up, now it acts as a balance control. Here is EQ, and EQ is bass and treble controls, right? And these are kind of fancy because these, I can set the range where I want, how much treble I want, how much bass I want. But essentially, these are just uh, uh, bass and treble controls that help tune the particular channel. And over here, we can choose some other stuff. Uh, and one very important thing that we will talk about, and I'm going to dedicate a whole episode into that, which is this one right here, which is the phase control. In phase, out of phase. However, well, it's actually the opposite, but <laughs> that's in phase, that's out of phase. And I'm going to show you why that's a really important control. And then the rest of this is just sending it to various places around the board that we might want to do. But that's it. You have volume, balance, mute, um, solo, and bass and treble controls. There's also a control over here 
that will we have an echo bus so I can turn up some echo or turn down the echo but that's it so 32 channels all the same and at the very end here we're gonna skip these bus see these two big red ones up and down that's the master so these are all the channels individual channels and this is the master turn this down you don't get any sound turn this up and you get that okay that's that's our first one for today we will next go and talk about what all this does and sounds like okay hang in there <laughs>